The 2021 UK Resuscitation Council guidelines have added a few key points about paediatric basic life support. In the paediatric basic life support sequence, rescuers should perform assessments for signs of life, like circulation, simultaneously with breathing assessment and during the delivery of rescue breaths. If there are no signs of life, chest compression should be started immediately after rescue breaths have been delivered. There is an emphasis on the rescuers using mobile phones with speaker functions to facilitate bystander access to dispatch-guided cardiopulmonary resuscitation, known as CPR, and to summon emergency medical services, the EMS, without leaving the child or infant. In certain situations, such as when the child or infant is breathing spontaneously but requires airway management, or when the child has a traumatic injury, the recovery position is not recommended. In these circumstances, Keep the patient flat, maintain an open airway by either continued head tilt chin lift or jaw thrust. For trauma victims, leave the child or infant laying flat and open and maintain the airway using a jaw thrust using care to avoid spinal movement. High quality CPR is emphasized in the guidelines, which is obtained by a chest compression depth of at least one third the anterior posterior diameter of the chest or by four centimeters for the infant and five centimeters for a child. The chest compression pause is minimized so that 80% or more of the CPR cycle is comprised of chest compressions at a chest rate of 100 to 120 per minute. And finally, by allowing full recoil of the chest after each compression.